A rectangular channel has a width of 2 meters and carries a discharge of 5 meter cube per second with a depth of 1.70 meters. A smooth hump height of 0.15 meters with flat top is located at a certain section. Calculate the likely change in the water surface. Neglect the energy losses. So there is a rectangular channel which is 2 meters wide. It carries a discharge of 5 meter cube per second at a height of 1.70 meters. Now, what will be the change in the water surface due to this hump of 15 centimeters height? This is the specific energy diagram. At section 1, the specific energy is equal to y1 plus v square by 2g. y1 is the depth at section 1 and v square by 2g is the velocity head. At section 2, there will be some reduction in specific energy. So E2 will be equal to E1 minus delta Z. Delta Z is the height of hump. Okay. Now we need to calculate the change in water surface. We need to calculate Y2. Now height of the hump is 0 0.15 meters. Width of the channel is 2 meters. Depth at upstream section is 1.70 meters. And discharge in the channel is 5 meter cube per second. So area for the rectangular section is equal to B into Y. Uh, so we will get area equal to 3.4 meter square. Discharge per unit width small q is equal to Q divided by B. Uh, total Q is 5 meter cube per second divided by width. So we will get discharge per unit width equal to 2.5 meter cube per second per meter. Velocity is equal to discharge divided by area. So velocity in uh, this uh, rectangular section is 1.47 meters per second and velocity head is 1.47 square divided by 2 into 9.81 meter per second square. Okay, so V square by 2G velocity head is 0 0.110 meters. Now Proud number. Now, whether the flow will be critical or subcritical in this section, it can be known by calculating fraud number. If fraud number is equal to 1, the flow is critical. If fraud number is greater than 1, the flow is supercritical. And if fraud number is less than 1, the flow is subcritical. Now, in this case, the flow is subcritical as the fraud number is less than 1. Fraud number for this rectangular section was calculated using this uh, equation V by root GY. V is the velocity 1.47 divided by root 9.81 into Y. Y is 1.7. So, fraud number is 0 0.360. So, the flow is subcritical. Now, as the flow is subcritical, the hump will cause a drop in the elevation. Now, uh, let us obtain the critical depth and specific energy at critical depth. Now, critical depth for a rectangular section, for a rectangular channel can be obtained using this equation. Yc is equal to q square divided by g raised to 1 by 3. q is the discharge per unit width. We, we have already calculated it. It is 2.5 square divided by 9.81 raised to 1 by 3. So critical depth is equal to 0 0.860 meters and specific energy at critical depth is equal to 1.5 into Yc. So this will be equal to 1.291 meters. Now specific energy at section 2 is 1.660. It is greater than EC 1.291. So there will be no change at upstream depth. Okay, the upstream depth will not change as this uh, E2 is greater than EC. Okay, so minimum specific energy at section 2 is less than E2. Okay, EC is less than E2, therefore Y2 is greater than YC. This is y2, this is yc. 
and there will be no change in the upstream depth y1. So if the depth at section 1 does not change, we can obtain y2 uh, using trial and error method or by using solver. Now solver, now set objective section uh, specific energy E2 is equal to E1 minus delta Z. We have already calculated it. It is 1.660 by changing variable cell Y2. Okay. So we will obtain uh, depth Y2. 0.523. So we have obtained depth Y2. Y1 is 1.7, Y2 is 1.523. Okay, and and uh, drop in water surface elevation, we can say it is equal to 1.7 minus 1.523 minus 0 0.15. Okay, this is 1.7, this is 1.523, this is 0 0.15. This is equal to 0 0.027. So, for a rectangular uh, channel carrying a discharge of 5 meter cube per second, uh, a hump of 15 centimeters height will cause uh, a drop in the water surface elevation, and we have calculated this drop. Okay, we have obtained y2. One point five two three drop in water surface elevation is zero point zero two seven. Now, if specific energy E two was less than E C, there would have been some change in the upstream depth. But in this case, there is no change in the upstream depth and we calculated y2 easily using solver. 